Hey hey everybody, this is Larry, this is day 12 of the Leak Code Daily Challenge for December. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about today's farm. Smallest subtree with all the deepest node. So I am solving these live, including the explanations, so if it goes a little bit slow, just fast forward or something. Or skip ahead. Anyway, so okay, what is this farm? Giving a root of a tree, short that, blah blah blah. Okay. Um, also apparently just similar to another problem. Um, okay. So, hmm. Okay, so N is 500. I would say for tree problems, maybe, uh, usually I try to go for linear time. Um, and we could get the deepest nodes in linear time, right, just by using a depth first search. And then what can we conclude from that, right? Well, from that, hmm. Maybe we could do some kind of, uh, I mean, this is just off my head. I don't think I've seen a similar problem, but a lot of the tree problems are related, right? So one is that we get the deepest level uh, nodes, and then from that, we can find the lowest common ancestor. And, and we could do that in a number of ways, um, except for that it is for, you know, for multiple nodes. So, hmm. Try to think whether there's a straightforward way. Yeah. Well, to be honest, uh, I think some of my struggle is just trying to figure out if I could do it in one pass. Uh, but I think we could just do it in two pass and that would make the problem a lot easier. And as I always say, especially if you're doing interview or competitive, try to keep it as simple as possible and keep it as stupid as possible, um, That given that it is fast enough. So, okay. So my current idea then is that I'm going to do a depth first search. Get the, um, you can also do it by first search or level first search is fine or level order traversal um, and then get the deepest nodes and then from those nodes we can do um, we can do maybe another uh, second depth first search to to figure out um, I'm, I'm, for some reason, I'm thinking of Union Fine and like some sort of weird path compression or something like that to kind of see if we can do it. I mean, but I, of course, I can actually use some uh, crazy algorithms like, uh, was it binary lifting or something like that? But that seems way too intense. So I'm going to try to uh, keep it to the elementary uh, algorithms. Hmm. I mean, yeah, given that N is 500, to be honest, uh, if I was doing competitive, I would just, right now, I'll be like, I'm thinking too much. I'll, let's do the N square algorithm. And that's like way more straightforward. But it, it you know, I am trying to learn. I am trying to upsolve it. So um, I'm going to try to see if I could do an O of N. And, hmm. Yeah, maybe that's it, really. Right? The idea is that, yeah, I mean, so I have the idea, but it, implementing it is always a little tricky. Uh, another um, idea that I might have is that for each node, I walk the, the path uh, up and then kind of like in a union fine kind of way, just compress them as we kind of see the nodes as we traverse those up. But that seems a little bit messy. So, hmm. All right, let's start with the basic. Let's get the notes first. Uh, sometimes I like to visualize by writing my code, so that's basically what I'm going to do. Uh, let's have a node uh, and keep track of the level. Uh, you could, again, of course, you can just use uh, level traversals. So, uh, okay, let, let's try something new. At least maybe I'll, I'll get something better. So current level is equal to root. Uh, next level is equal to empty. So while length of current level is greater than zero, uh, next level append 
well for node and current level uh, node dot left node dot right um, and actually we could write this in a cleaner way right for mm, next node and node dot left node dot right then if next node is not none next level append next node right something like that um, and and right at the end current level is equal to next level next level is equal to an empty string and yeah um hmm. and i think we just need to do a, a an extra check if length of next level is equal to zero then brick right that means that we have no next level and then the current level will be the last level that has the most nodes. So now we our current level contains all the all the deepest nodes in the tree. And then the question is, how do we find the LCA of all of them, the lowest common ancestor of all the nodes? Um, eh, and there are a couple of ways to do it. Of course, I, I'm trying to think about ways that is more elementary because uh, they're definitely like, you know, LCA is a problem that there is an O of N algorithm uh, to do the compression, and then you have to do it for each node. But maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can't. Maybe I'm. Hmm, in that case, that would not be O of N. That would not be linear. Um, hmm. Okay. Let, let me. Maybe I should solve with the N square way, and then. And then yeah, okay. So I think we can actually merge up now, or maybe we could do a recur uh, actually do another recursion. Um, hmm. Because basically now what I want to do, oh okay, I think I got an algorithm now. So basically for each of these nodes, I go up the tree. Hmm. I mean I think that should be fine. Or well, you could do it up the tree, but I'll do it recursively to go down the tree, right? Um, so then, okay, so now, okay, I think I have an algorithm and it's a little bit tricky. I'm, and I'll, I'll explain this um, as I go along. Hopefully, I, because basically what I'm thinking right now and what I'm not articulating very well, to be honest, is that I was basically just trying to prove it to myself in my head. Uh, this, I was thinking about like bouncing back and forth about a couple of different algorithms to figure out, okay, how do we structure this in a way such that we get a linear time? And then... I, and then I try to figure out if that's linear time and so forth. So I kind of have a few ideas. My current last idea is that, okay, if we have a depth first search, now, now that we know what the deepest node is, we can have a depth first search that returns the sum of the deepest node at that level. And when that is equal to the sum of all the nodes, then that is going to be your your top uh, or your lowest the lowest level that returns that um you should be able to use that node if that makes sense okay i don't think i explain i to be honest i don't think i i explained that quite well but i'm going to go with the code and then we'll go over it one more time afterwards so okay let's have a depth first search we have a node right if node is none we return zero if node is uh, or if its node is in current level, and of course this is going to be, at worst case, eh, linear-ish and over two. So, um, so we actually want to convert this to a set so that our look lookup is easier. So deepest node is equal to the set of the last current level. So then now, if node is equal is in deepest node, um, then we return one. And by definition, it, the deepest node would be a leaf. So we can return directly. Otherwise, we return that first search of node.left plus that first search of node.right. And this that first search is actually, let's actually name these these things. I, I have a bad habit of calling them that first search and my viewers might as well try not to do that actually. Uh, sometimes it's just bad habits and I'm bad at it because in competitive, I don't want to spend time naming things, but in this video, maybe I should. So yeah, so count number of deepest nodes so okay so that's pretty much how i would call it 
Uh, so we do that, and then that's so that's your second depth of search. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. So you could do it in another pass. Uh, by now, now you have these, you know, the count number of deepest node at each node. In theory, you could now store it on, you know, some kind of mapping between the node and the thing, and then you just go for it one more time. But instead, what I'm going to do is uh, combine them together. Um, so, okay, if node is the deepest node, it's going to be the deepest node anyway. Um, but you may only have one deepest node, so one is the answer. So let's just do uh, value. We can generalize it a little bit. So let's just say total is equal to zero. If node is in deepest node, total increments by one. Also, we want to add this. Of course, in this case, technically, these are mutually exclusive. Um, hmm, but yeah, but these would just run by these would just return zero. So I don't think this actually changed anything. But just for clarity, I'm going to write else. Um, okay. Now, if total is equal to the set of, oh sorry, with the length of the deepest nodes. Oh, actually, let's call them deepest nodes because that's more grammatically better. Um, then that means that now this is the level that we have, right? So now we, we're going to go uh, deepest is equal to none. Uh, and let's go none or go deepest. If deepest is none, then deepest is equal to uh, no. And because we... Because we're doing um, a post-order traversal, right? Because we... We do the depth of search first to the left, to the right, and then we uh, pass this node, I guess, technically. Um, that means that the first instance that you hit it is going to be true. So that's why I have this invariant that if this is none, we only set it the first time that we set it. I hope that's correct. Otherwise, I'm going to look a little silly. But that's okay. We're all learning here together. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so now the function name is actually a little bit off, but that's fine. Uh, maybe maybe <laughs> uh, oh and actually we have to return total in either case and then that's pretty much it hopefully uh now we have to return deepest and that's it and uh and we don't have to do any more checks because if you do on the root root will always contain all the uh this will always be true for the deepest no uh for the root so let's just copy and paste some examples <laughs> uh and then Give it a lucky one code twirl. Uh, cool. So that looks okay. Let's give it a quick submit. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, so what is the, so to be honest, I've yeah. I mean, th this was a fresh problem for me. Um, I don't remember seeing it, and I don't remember a straightforward way of doing it. So I'm actually very happy and proud that I, you know, hey, okay, 14 minutes a little bit slow, but my excuse is that I'm explaining a little bit, but no, um, but it's good because now you see my entire dot process a little bit, which is that, okay, we have the deepest nodes. That's trivial in the sense that like, I know how to get in over end time. So for this problem from the beginning to, end, to the end, I start with the assumption that I want to solve it in linear time. So everything had to be constrained by that linear time. And and yeah, in the beginning, I start by getting the deepest node, which I know I could get in, in linear time, uh, and I did. And then after that, I had to try to figure out an invariant um, as we go up the tree or down the tree in this case. Um, and I got I was very fortunate to kind of uh, figure this out and then proved it in my by I you know thinking that. Um, by sh making sure that the invariant, which is that um, if you have, if a node contains the deepest node, then um, it, it's almost like a binary search type thing, even though it's not technically a binary search, but it's just that um, for a given node, if that node contain all the nodes in the subtree or all the deepest node in the uh, tree, then uh, then one level higher, it also contains all the deepest nodes, right? And... And con converse, uh, but on, on the other hand, if you go down, that might not be true. So given that uh, relationship and invariant, we were able to do a depth first search and just go for it here and then do a post order traversal. Uh, cool. Um, mm, to be honest, I think my, my explanation is probably not super clear. 
Um, let me know if you have any questions. We'll definitely be happy to explain it a little bit further. Uh, you can also join me on Discord and ask a follow-up question. Though, if you leave a comment, then in theory, in the future, people can read that as well. But in either case, um, that's all I have for this problem. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I dig this problem for me because it's a new problem for me, but you may do better and I'm happy for you. <laughs> anyway, I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.